people. Today we're going to be doing kind of another abs and arms day focus. So trying to do a little bit of upper body, uh, core in there, get the arms and back involved as well. So to, for today's session, really all you need is a mat um, and then ideally some sort of table, solid chair or something that you can push up against the wall for doing some tricep dips. If you don't have anything available, I can show you an option for on the ground, but I just have kind of a table here and I'm gonna be doing the tricep dips off of that small table. And then if you have any resistance bands or anything around, you can grab those. There will be an option to add the resistance band for the exercise, one of the exercises. Also not necessary, you don't need it. Um, it just gives it an extra challenge. As we've kind of said with other exercise sessions, sorry, um, you're exercising at your own risk, making sure you're kind of thinking about yourself and making sure you're, you're being honest with your body and doing whatever feels good for you. If that means um, that you take the easier route or just take a break and do something else, go for it. You don't need to be following me perfectly. This is just kind of a guide to show you these exercises. We're gonna be going through four different exercises today. So just the four during this, Time starting off with just a little bit of a warm up to get you going and a cool down stretch. And so with these four exercises, again, I'll I'll show you how to do them, give you lots of options, choose whichever one feels the best. If at all you feel dizzy, lightheaded, or in pain, obviously take your break, have some water, sit out the exercise, or make any modifications you need. This is just for you guys to be getting active, staying moving. We're just kind of rotating, opening up our hips here, and opening up our back and chest. And then we'll try and get through three rounds of everything. So strong focus on all these four exercises. All right, we're gonna do, start off with a little bit of arm swing. So starting off small circles there. Again, you can be marching during this, keep your heart rate going up. Slowly get these circles bigger and bigger. And then we wanna be coming to our full range of motion. Again, whatever's comfortable. If that's staying in a smaller range, that's fine. If you're able to get to kind of the outer range, we just wanna be opening up the shoulder blades, opening up the shoulders and chest from there. And then what we're gonna do is start again, but going the opposite way. So now I'm going backwards. Again, starting small. Making sure your shoulders aren't hunched up towards the ears. You wanna make sure they're relaxed. And it's just the arms doing the movement, shoulder blades moving as well. Again, coming to that bigger circles as you get through there. Again, it's not necessarily going fast, it's more so getting the full range of motion there. All right, we're gonna come to the edge of our mat. We're gonna do a little bit of an inchworm out and get uh, some rotation. So from here, I'm gonna reach hands down, walk them forward into a high plank position. I'm gonna reach my right foot up towards my right hand, and then that right hand is gonna twist up to the sky. Again, opening up the chest and the back, taking a couple breaths here, back down, and I'm gonna switch to the other side. Open up towards my left, and then I'm gonna inchworm back. So legs stay straight as possible, and coming back and reaching up, we're gonna do that one more time. So again, inchworming down, into that high plank position, right knee up and rotate right, and then left and rotate left. As I said in other sessions, I do have my family joining in. So if you hear them around, other noises, that's them in the background, everyone's taking part today. Just getting a good little bit of a workout in the middle of the day, either from work or from other activities there. Roll your shoulders a little bit, get everything moving again there. All right, so today, again, if you have something, either a table, a chair, something sturdy to be doing tricep dips, that's what we'll be using. I'll also show an option for on the ground. And then if you have resistance bands, you can use them for one of the exercises. Again, you don't need it, it's just an added challenge. So our first one today is a dead bug. So with the dead bug, you're lying on your back. With this one, your feet are up in the air, hands are up in the air as well. For this first set, we wanna make sure our belly button is pulled down to the floor and back is flat on the ground. From here, what we're gonna do is reach our right arm, left foot, 
go opposite the room and back up. This movement is all about control and slow motion, keeping the tension through your whole body the entire time. We're gonna go for about 10 on each side. So it is a longer push through here. If you wanna make this more difficult, what you can do is as I reach my right hand and right and left leg back, I'm gonna push my hand into the knee that's up and add that pressure for a hold of two to three seconds. Just adding that extra tension through there. Good, again, keeping the focus on that back, staying flat on the ground. From here, if, there's, if this is too challenging, what you can do is only move the legs or only move the arms. Whatever you need to do to make this comfortable. Again, making sure you're not arching your back. Make sure you're breathing through this. Good. I have one more on each side here. And then coming to a rest. Again, you can move your knees over to the side. Go into any position you need to. Take a little break, go to stretch, move around. The next exercise, well, I'll show you the next exercise, which is gonna be a plank shoulder tap. So for this exercise, you're gonna be coming into a high plank position. If you need to, you can also go from your knees. The important thing is just making sure your back stays flat, all in one straight line, either from your toes or from your knees. From here, either you just hold this, or what you're gonna do is reach up and tap your shoulder. Ideally, try and make sure you're not twisting the hips too much. You wanna keep as straight of a body as you can. Again, here we're gonna go for five taps on each side, all right? So either in your high plank or kneeling plank position there, going for five each side. Again, slow and controlled is key on these ones. Keep your hands pushed into the ground right underneath your shoulder blades, engaging your whole body here, trying to avoid twisting. I have one more each hand. And rest. Again, you can come into a child's pose, whatever you need there. Move your shoulders around. That is our second exercise. Our third one is going to be the tricep dip. So, with the tricep dip, the important part, got the dog barking, is you want to make sure you're protecting your shoulders. And in that, and the way you do that is. Instead of having your hands facing towards your arm, what you want to do is externally rotate your shoulders. And to do that, you twist so that your hands are facing away from you. Not behind you, that's quite far, but just out to the side. And then from here, I'm going for my knees, or for my feet flat. What you can do is have your feet straight, just your heels are on the ground, that makes it harder. But from here, you're squeezing your shoulder blades, making sure your shoulders are back, coming down and up. Don't go too far, because then your shoulders do come into a position where it's quite a bit forward. But having your shoulders externally rotated, so turned out to the side, helps prevent that, all right? So we're going for 15 of these when you're ready. And as mentioned, if you need to do one on the floor, you do the same thing from there. There's less movement able to get down there just because you are so much closer to the ground, but there's always the option there. If you're doing it from a table, make sure it's up against a wall. Don't want it sliding away from you. Good, so hands turned away to protect your shoulders. Three, two, and one. Good. Shake it out, move around, whatever you need to do in between those ones. All right, our last exercise is going to be a bent over what's called I's and T's. So with this one, this is the option you can add your resistance band. I'll show it with and without, so first watching me. So I'm gonna come into a hip hinge position, and that means I'm gonna stick my bone back to the edge of the room. My knees are slightly bent, 
and making sure I have a flat back the entire time. Head's not looking up or straight down, it's looking down at the ground here. So that is our start position. From here, what you're gonna do is reach your arms, thumbs go up to the sky, up above your head, that's our Y position, and then thumbs again up to the sky in our T position. So that's without the weight, obviously. It is difficult enough without the weight or the, the resistance band. If you have either a tubing band or another band, what you can do is step on the weight on the bottom and then lifting up. Mine is a little bit short and heavy, so if you have a band like this one, you can also do the same, but it does make it more difficult. And just doing it with your own body weight and holding the positions is typically enough, all right? So we're gonna come into that hip hinge position. Again, knees can be a little bit bent. Make sure core is engaged, the back is flat. We're going for 10 of these. So first, a Y position and a T position. Making sure you're squeezing between your shoulder blades. Shoulders actually stay down, not hunched up towards your ears. Again, slow motion here is key, especially if you're doing it without any resistance. If this is a little bit much on your back, you can just come into a higher position without as much hip hinge. And that just relieves a little bit there, but this also gets the core and the back and glutes engaged as you're in this hip hinge position. You could also be doing this if you have little weights, like uh, soup cans or something, small or little hand weights, you can be holding them in your hands. But again, as you might be noticing, without any weight, it's still pretty difficult. This is 10 for me here. 10, all right. Good work, wash it out, move around, finish it off, have some water, whatever you need to do. We'll take a little break. As I mentioned before, we're just going through those four exercises. We're gonna aim for three times today just so that we really get a good solid work through those exercises. So doing any stretching, moving around that you need to. We're going to come back into our dead bug starting in about 10 seconds here. So again, lying on your mat, different options for, for different challenging, um, different challenges for this one. So again, hands and knees up. We're going for 10 each side. So arm goes straight and the opposite leg goes the other way. Both are reaching to the front and the back of the room. Again, making sure you're pulling your belly button down into the ground, making sure that back stays flat. To make it more challenging, you add that manual resistance, hand on knee, pushing into each other, holding for a couple seconds each time. And then another option, if that's a little bit too difficult, is just having either legs moving or just arms moving. And within, with, within whatever range feels comfortable for you and what allows you to make sure that your back stays flat the entire time. We're not going for speed today. We're going for controlled movements. Make sure you're taking good deep breaths. And one more each side for me here. All right, finish that up as you need to. And then our next one is going to be, as mentioned before, our plank shoulder taps. So again, you're coming from plank, high plank position, either from your toes or from your knees. Shoulders are right on top of your wrists there. If your wrists are uncomfortable, you can go up onto your fists or onto your fingertips, whatever feels comfortable there. And we're going for five taps on each side. Again, it's not many. That's why we want to focus on slow control. Trying to avoid too much movement of your hips. This is five for me. And resting. 
Good into a child's pose whatever you need to right now. I fell off my bike the other day, so I can't quite kneel on my knee, but doing whatever position you need to today. From there, our next exercise is our tricep dip. So coming to whatever table, chair, whatever you have available. Again, hands are turned out to the side to protect our shoulders, so it's coming into external rotation. Squeezing the shoulder blades together to lift your chest up and coming down for 15. Again, to make it more difficult, you have your feet flat or straight, sorry, your legs straight up on your heels. And to make it even more difficult, if you have something available, you could put your feet higher up on something. That way, there's more gravity work pulling you down. Nice work. And 15 for me. Finish those off. Do whatever movement. Anything you need to in between. I'll have a couple seconds off here and then we're going into our bent over Y's and T's. So again with these ones, focusing on the scapular control, keeping the shoulder blades back. Shoulders don't shrug up towards your ears during these. Nice and controlled movement. So again, coming into that hip hinge position, back stays flat, pushing your hips, your bum back to the back of the room. Knees are bent a little bit. From here, we're going for 10. So Y and then T. Thumbs are pointing towards the ceiling the entire time. That engages the lower trap muscles, so between your shoulder blades and your spine. The lower ones, not the ones right up by your shoulders, that typically get pretty tired sitting at a desk and, and positions where you're sitting for longer periods of time. So it's nice to do some middle and lower trap exercises to help overcome that pain there that some people tend to have. Again, if this hip hinge position isn't comfortable, you can come into a little bit of less hip hinge coming up a little bit higher. Squeezing those shoulder blades the entire time. And this is 10 for me. 10. Finish up if you have more to do. And that is it for our second round of everything. One last round through, and that will be it for today. So just doing any shoulder movements, stretching, having some water, anything in between to get yourself ready for the next set. This is quite a heavy shoulder work as as well getting involved. All right. Last set of everything. Going into our dead bugs. So lying on your back for the start of these ones. Again, hands and feet in the air. And going 10 times on each side. Again, adding that manual resistance if you need onto the hand and knee that are still in the air. Making sure your back is flat the entire time. Staying within whatever range you need to that's comfortable and allows you to avoid arching your back. Breathing through. The further you reach that foot and that arm, the harder it is. We have one more each side. When you're done that again, doing any positional movements, rocking side to side, bring your knees into your chest, whatever you need to do to relax out of that pose as we get ready for our tricep dip. All right, moving around, marching on the spot, whatever you need. 
Oh yeah, oops, we forgot our, our plank taps. Not quite into our shoulder dips, our tricep dips yet. <laughs> Even with a list here, I sometimes forget. Coming into our plank position, either from your knees or from your toes. Again, keeping that core control. If you need to, just hold the position instead of doing the taps, that is fine too. Again, we're going for five, so that slow control is key. Pushing the shoulders and the hands down to the ground. Lifting the upper back. Make sure your neck is not either looking straight up or pulled into your chest. And that's five for me. Again, coming into a child's pose, whatever you need to, to release those muscles before we go into now our tricep dips. <laughs> All right. Last round of these, again, hands are out to the side, externally rotating our shoulders to protect the front of the shoulder there, squeezing the shoulder blades together. As you come down, we're going for 15. Good, almost there. All right, let's just hit those 15 again. Stretch it out, move around. Then we're coming into our last exercise for today. Again, just a nice quick activity break in the middle of your day, whatever you need to do to just get yourself moving, have a little break. From there. All right, so our last exercise again is our Y's and T's into that hip hinge position. So again, making sure core is engaged, back is flat. Shoulders are pulled down, not hunching, shrugging up towards your ears. Thumbs going to the sky, squeezing between the shoulder blades. Going for 10 of these. You can always take a pause in each position for a couple seconds to hold. Again, making it just that little bit more challenging if you need to. Shoulders are burning by the end of this one. This is the last one for today. Keep going, get to 10. And good work. All right, that is all for our exercises today. Let's just do a quick movement again to finish off. Swing the arms across, and then hands go to your shoulders and doing some circles here. Again, it's not as difficult as doing with your hands fully straight. It's nice to do at the end to make sure you get full range of motion there. Again, switching directions, either forward or back, whatever it was that you started with. And from here, we're gonna come into a tricep stretch. So one hand reaches over your head, down towards your back here, and then I'm gonna rest my other hand on top, just doing a little stretch there. If you wanna get even more stretched down the side, you can lean over through there, taking a couple breaths through there. Same thing the other way. Pulling there, and then I'm gonna lean over to my right a little bit. All right, now we're gonna come across our body. Holding there and the other way. From here, you can come into a bit of a child's pose position if you feel that's comfortable. I can't quite get down there today, but what you wanna do is having your legs as far apart as you need to, reaching your bum back, sinking back into it. Hands reach forward, 
from here, taking a few deep breaths into your belly and feeling your lungs, your lateral costals to the outside of your ribs. Expand here, sinking your head down. Then what I want you to do is reach your hands over to the left side, feeling the stretch all the way through your right. Again, taking a couple breaths here, really focus on opening up that right side of your ribs as you breathe in. One more breath here. And then slowly move your hands over to the other side. So I'm going over to my right. Again, hang out here for a little bit. Feel your breath opening up that left side of your ribs. And one more breath. And then walking the hands back to the middle and slowly coming up from here. All right, doing any movements you need to right now. Again, this is more of an upper body ab focus today. You're welcome to go continue on either do more exercises, go for a walk, whatever you need to do.